almost certainly their last World Championships. And they've beaten the number 13 seeds, Hawakawa and Matsutomo of Japan. Match won by Anders Christiansen and Jeannie Hamlin. The Danish celebrations. 2022-21-11. Well, the final game, 21-11. Well, good spirits from the Japanese players. But my goodness, what a match. 21-9, 20-22, 21-11. In the deciding game what an absolute thriller but it does mean that the danes have reversed the result in the first round of the world championships from last year victory over the seeded combination and they will contest the round of last 16 in the mixed doubles discipline Great scenes, great joy for the Danes. Their confirmation, an hour and four minutes to battle their way through. But my goodness, from a home perspective, wasn't it worth it? Well, our thanks to Joe Clark and Morton Frost. I'm Richard Kaufman back in the commentary box alongside Jim Laugerson. So a terrific mixed doubles match and it ended it superbly as well for the home support with Christensen and Howman coming through very convincingly in the end in that third set after that uh, other terrific men's singles match that saw Rajiv Usef through as well against Malaysia's. Chong Wei Fung. So what next on court number one? Well, there you go. That's the schedule. Three more matches to come, starting with Japan's Takuma Ueda against Tian Hao Wei of China. And Xu Jin Hao up against Hans Christian Wittinghaus. And then uh, Japanese lady Sayaka, Sayaka Takahashi against pitcher Nadel Cheva. As you can see, the players making their way out onto the court right now. And it's uh, Takamuda Ueda against Tian Wei. And uh, one again that looks on paper, I suppose, like the previous two encounters on this court, as a, an even-looking contest. Usual preliminaries going through here for the two players. So, Jim, uh, the crowd, I think... Uh, Many of them have decided to use the end of that last mixed doubles match as a chance to go and grab some refreshments. Which so, is needed. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's uh, a good men's singles match here, I think, coming up. Um, Takamura Ueda 
who played very well in the Thomas Cup, scored the winning point against Tian Haowei, who's uh, well, had some good weeks and bad weeks in 2014. 22 year old Chinese player and of course like all the Chinese players under pressure to perform but he's got his work cut out here the number 11 seed up against his Japanese opponent there he is 29 in the world quarter finalists in his last event that was the open event in Chinese Taipei also quarter final at the Indian Open Last 16, he got two in last year's World Championships, but had a pretty miserable end to 2013. But as I say, played very well in the Thomas Cup. But uh, here's his opponent, Tian Haowei, ranked number 11. He reached the semi-finals in his uh, last event. Uh, had a tight contest against Lin Dan, lost in the semis at the Australian Open. Also lost to Lin Dan in the final of the China Masters Grand Prix Gold. And uh, he's had a, some good tournaments like that. Also played well at the Swiss Open, but some first round exits as well. All England, Indonesia, Singapore. So a mixed bag. Kelly Wandler of Canada is our umpire, our service judge from Denmark, Jakob Sundberg. So there we go. They have met before twice. They met in June at the Australian Open. Tian winning 21-17 in the third game. They also met in China in 2012. Ueda won that in straight games. So, hmm, tough one to call, really, I suppose. Well, uh, it's very tough to call that one. And uh, we'll have to see. I think we'll have to see the first couple of rallies here to really get a, a hint where both players are. Remember, we were looking at uh, Derek and... Thomas Ugarte earlier, earlier and that pretty much was an uneven match. So in this case it's up. How are they feeling? How will they react to this? This is the world championship. React to the environment here in, in Bello. But a uh, real good test for Tian Haowei here because you know this is a, a, a big deal for him young player world championships is a, a new thing for him and it's expected expected he should win this one yeah I mean he's, he's he won twice last year won a couple of good events won in Australia won the London Grand Prix gold event but Ueda is one of those players that on his day he, he, he can he can frighten the best of them really yeah technically a very skilled player we say for Tian it's it's you know pretty much Expected he should win, or else they would have brought Lin Dan. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Tian Hawe, China. And on my left, Takuma Ueda, Japan. Takuma Ueda to serve, the ball, play. So, men singles. And uh, a chance to play Eric Pang in the next round. Round number three, uh, round number two, I should say. One. It's of course the uh, opening round. Two. Love. Well, good start for as far as uh, Wade is concerned. A little short with a lift and smash put away. How much do you think it affects Ueda that uh, Momoto was out yesterday? Uh, is it a team thing or when you're at these championships, is it very much you're, you're in your own little bubble? You're your own little bubble. You can't really think about what your teammates are doing. Uh, I don't think that's particularly any more pressure on Ueda because he, Momoto lost. Um, I think he's concentrated on his, on his own game. But for Japan, of course, they, they would really like to see something special here. Yeah, it was uh, a really wonderful Thomas Cup for Japan, and they'd love to keep some kind of momentum going. Of course, they've got some real hopes in the men's doubles as well. 
And many fancied Momoto might do well this week, but uh, put to the wayside yesterday, very early on actually in the proceedings too. So it has a lot to do how how players react to different circumstances. You can see from if I was worried, I would more or less take this as a, an opportunity, a chance to, you know, now Targo's not there, my motor are lost, you know. It's all about me. Yeah. That's crazy. I mean, you look at the draw, I mean, uh, listen, this is, uh, would be a terrific win for him if he could beat Tian here. He's played a lovely shot down the line to tighten up a little bit in the start of this game. But, you know, Eric Pung in the next round, of course, Pung's a very good player, but You'd say beatable as far as uh, yeah. these two players are concerned. Definitely. Oh, what an excellent rally. Yeah. Three, We're just trying to, to keep the shuttle down with. Genuine, really, really good at standing far up at the, on the front court, closing that one. So he's actually forcing Rueda to try and clear a little bit, which is not his favorite thing to do. So it's important as well for Tian Hao, where, you know, we talk about, you know, first world championship. You just don't know what's around the corner either. There's obviously a, a well, not quite a conveyor belt of players coming through behind, but there's plenty of good youngsters waiting in the wings. There yeah, always is in China. Yeah, and, uh, you know, pressure is to succeed, perform well. Obviously, age is on his side. But he's not what you call young, young, is he? I mean, he's 22. No, it's not like when you saw Bao Chun Lai and Lin Deng come, come up. They were like 17, 18. Uh, and some of the young women singles players, you yeah. know, and you've seen, you've seen and former top, top, top players in, in China be already world champions by the age of his age here. So, um, but that's also because there is there is kind of a, I think there is a kind of a gap from Lin Dan to the next ones. And he's just been that good and he's been over that for many years. So the next ones have not really. There is only one, I mean, there hasn't been, I mean, would you rate Lin Dan right up there as one of the all time best? I mean, it's hard to follow in his footsteps, whoever you are from any generation. Uh, one, I would say the best. <laughs> I would say he's, he's the best. In terms player. of major wins. I would say he's the best. Uh, and, and, and I read that because, I, you know, you can't take away two, two Olympic goals and that many world championships. And then I know that he hasn't been playing all the tournaments and that's it. But I would rate him the best, but by a slim margin. And then maybe leeching ways that, you know, he's with all the wins that he's had. Um, it's just, it's always such a long, you know, when are we going to see somebody being able to win two Olympic goals? It's just... I wouldn't rule out a third either. No, exactly. So... So for the players that are coming through, you know, with, with, you know China, we're looking for the next Lin Dan. Of course. But there might not ever be anyone as good as that no, again. No. I'm not saying they're worried, but it's it's a possibility. There, there's been great players, but they they haven't gone on as for as long time as as it, by by his Chinese standard. They haven't been going on for as long as he Sun Jun winning world championship and then he's quitting. And you know, there was maybe we have to go back to Yang Yang. Those days he won two world championships, and I know he didn't have have every year to win it in, but and there wasn't any Olympics at that time, so he might have been up there. By the way, that was a great shot by Tian Howe. <laughs> so, but it's always up for discussion. If 
you go by titles, the, you have, can you go back to the days where the All England was the World Championship? You have Allen Cups winning seven of those. You have what about one of uh, Morton as well? You know, yeah, Morton won a few. How long uh, was he world number one? He won for? four. He won four. Yeah. All England's. Uh, there was no a World Championship at that, at that time, uh, but Allen Cups he won seven. Um, Hatono from Indonesia won. I think he won eight. So and he even won a World Championship, I think. So. It's it's always up for debate. It's a fun debate. Sure. But and there is no right answer, is there? Really? No, there is not. Now, even when I'm sitting thing, I, I might want to take that thing done back again. Because I, I, I just I think that the most important thing is not to to sit there, yeah, but that was back in the days and stuff like that. It's just to appreciate top players and legends and people who've been playing. They were the best at that time. And they, they did what they needed to do to be the best at that time. So let's cherish them instead of, so let's bring them forward and have these debates. So those are fun. You can see, imagine Li Cheng Wei, if there hadn't been Lin then, you know, <laughs> I think he's, he's, he's over 50 finals in the Super Series or something. And he's lost two Olympic finals and a few a couple of world championships. World championships. But he's not here this year. He's not here this year. So opportunity Ten. knocks. Five. And we saw Chen Long come through, uh, yeah, comfortably. Not perfect performance, you have to say, but a, a good performance from Chen Long earlier today. And Tian Howei here is uh, looking good so far. He's gone off to. A, a very solid start against Dueda. Started to uh, gain his authority in this match. Very solid. Look at that. Yeah. And that's the reason why you want to see Dueda try to, to, to keep the shuttle downwards. He simply, he simply can't. He doesn't really know where to be in defense when, when Chian is. He's hitting downwards, he's just so good disguised, and you can see how quick his uh, reaction is in his racket, so... Good start. Yeah. Interval lead for Tian Haowei is 11 points to 5. Just a case of uh, more of the same, really, for Tian here. He's had some uh, terrific matches against uh, Danish players as well. He uh, beat Jan Jorgensen on his way to winning in London last year. His breakthrough win, and then against uh, Victor Axelsen at the Swiss Open, 25-23 in the final set. It went in the way of the day. Wader. Started okay, didn't he? Yeah. But uh, it's all gone a little flat for him, just misjudging the length there. He just looks very solid to him. No mistakes. Yeah. Pretty high pace, and when he has the chance, he's he's putting it on the floor. He looks very, very focused. A little hit on the tape there. Yeah, it, it could be a meeting if Tian comes through this in the next few games. It could be him against uh, Tommy Sugiato in the quarterfinals. I have to say, Sugiato was, was looking really good, wasn't yeah, he? Yeah, this would be interesting. Oh, such, I knew he almost gets it over. Amazing. Sometimes hard to read so much into these, you know, into these first round matches. Yeah. You just never know on a given day what the player is going to come out playing like. No one. One day they can look absolutely impeccable and then explicably the next day it just doesn't happen. And this is the World Championships. So you'll have people or players here who are more prepared than in a normal tournament. So. Oh. 
unlucky. Trying to do the right thing here, won't you? Know? State, really. Eight, did miss a smash down that side, but wasn't by much. That one was a, a long way wide from Tian. Something you see Tian make mistakes like that. It does really look focused, I'll say. Both are actually. Chinese player just tightens this opening game up five points the difference now oh. Oh. Oh, a good little comeback by Rita here yeah, three points in a row. It's rally he's rallying them all. But it was 12-5. And uh, scoreline looks far more respectable now. 14-10. Part of the game. The way that just on a little run. Tian, who's been playing perfectly, leaves it and it's given out. No challenge but from the Raider. He's way more into the rallies now than we saw in the start, so. I know he, was, he, he lost this one, but he's got, got a pretty good momentum right now. Yeah, he was out, though. It's not by much. wants to open up in this rally. <coughs> He's opened up the court there. <laughs> oh, what a spin and what a lift. <laughs> that is an amazing rally. I don't know if Tian left that <laughs> just out of pure exhaustion, but yeah. he left it. Maybe a, a mentor error given the oh. run around he's had. It was more out of hope than any real expectation than it was going out. Landed just inside the line, actually. Great point and an important one for Areda to win because it narrows the gap now to three, as tight as it's been since the uh, opening exchanges. This time it was long. Oh, 
makes it far more comfortable again for the Chinese player. It's a big deal for Tian Hao Wei, of course. Could have gone to Lin Dan, because they left out Du Pen Yu, didn't they? Yeah. They could have left him out and, and gone with Lin Dan. That's how the rules work, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. I think they had to... No, don't know exactly, but I think they would have to go only with Tian Long and Lin Dan. OK, so they could have only had yeah. two, something like that. So, yeah, Chen Long, Wang Zhengmin, obviously, in, and uh, left out Du Pen Yu. Went with Tian Haowei. Which is... It's, it's a statement for them that they believe in him. So now it's up to him to take take what's given in front of him. I suppose the thinking behind that is Du Pen Yu has had... He's had the opportunities. Yeah, yeah, he has, but he's also been good for them, you know. Don't take away his effort last year when he played Lee Chung Wei in the semi-final. Very, very long match. Yeah. Uh, and you think that had an effect on the final as well? Exactly. So he's he's got part of that gold <laughs> medal. <laughs> I don't think they see it like that or Lin Dan sees it like that, but... 14, 17. Yeah, getting closer and closer. an important point. Just had a, well, I suppose you can call it a, a little bit of a crisis away to getting closer to him, but just stretching away here at the end of this opening game. Game points. But Rita can use this for the second game if he's not able to come back in this one. That was wide. Saved. Seems uh, a road too far. I don't see too many do you come back from 2014. Oh. Well, it's very important to keep going here. You know, he needs that momentum into the second game. No well, I, think he, I think he's done that really anyway, yeah. hasn't he? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he's certainly he's been very evening, uh, even since that gap. the middle of the game, yeah. really. Oh, it's a great shot. <laughs> great winner. That's how to end the... Uh, oh. He was the challenge. I, 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 ah, yeah, that was a perfect shot. Yeah. Looked on the line, didn't Challenges. it? Well, it's a good challenge, though. Yeah. If that was, He needs to take a chance at some point uh, in this set. But... Yeah? Let's have a look at that again. But that's an amazing shot. Well, 
not 100% clear on the replays. Our initial instincts normally yeah, right, and it was. Yeah, there you go. Game. Indeed it is. So, Tian Howei takes the opening game. 21 points to 16. Good game, though. A oh, very good game. Good quality of uh, play here. First game won by Tian Howey, 21-16. Let's have more of that. This second game can live up to the first. Let's see if Ueda can kind of pick up where he left off and go toe to toe with Tian Howe without allowing the Chinese player to get ahead of him here at the start. Oh, it's vital for him. Try and play this game without playing catch up. Oh, so Tian came out there firing. He did. One, five. Of course, he's aware of. Uh, he doesn't want to let Ueda into the match. So... He's going to be 100% ready here. Oh, this is not the start Ueda wanted. Coach told him at the uh, interval, Tian Howei, but it was uh, whatever it is. It's very working. aggressive. I mean, he's very aggressive. Yeah, exactly, he, sta yeah. he started, you know, the first game with a little bit more patience, playing either to the back court, standing far up, and then changing the game. Here, he's just come out firing like, in all say, cylinders. Don't let this guy. Don't let this guy get a foothold. No, 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 no. Very aggressive. Well, he, of course, the coach saw what happened at the end of the first game, so... And again, yeah, very aggressive. Something we didn't... Oh, well, very well played. Good. Good. And of course, really just... He can actually counter that a little bit. If, he's, if he really digs deep now and, and says, I'm going to be very good in defense, then Tian might be using a lot of, you know, stamina and the chances of... Him being able to counter him a little bit would be out, yeah, but only if he's very focused on how he plays the backcourt, for example, like that. 
has a much better thing. Can you hear that? Should we call it sweet spot sound? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we've got excellent. The effects are excellent, aren't they, yeah. from the court? And you could really hear it there when he got caught hold of that. Unfortunately, it was into the net. This is where he has to be careful with either. Service over, four, two. Maybe play a neutral shot to the front court there and may force Jan to make some different than just standing there and use his power. Or play the back court. Gotta keep it away from that. You see the case there, he just forces to, run to, to use his power. And just blocking it nice and easy, block there nice and easy, and then the chance comes there. Beautiful. Good display by Rueda. A very even start here to this game. Apart from the three first points. Yeah, well, Tian came out firing, didn't he? But no panic from Rueda. But the way... The way Tian came out and he just... just hard with that many players that can play a full game like that. So, eventually Rueda would come into the match. It's just no matter how great defense Rueda, but not good. Yeah, I haven't seen that much of Tian Haowei really, but uh, I've got to say, I like the way he's able to, you know, you see the best players, they, they find another gear, don't mm -hmm. they? And he has that. Yeah, when it just feels like when he feels it's getting a little bit closer than he would like, steps it up a little bit. It's like in tennis, you can see, you know, they got that surveys, you know, when they're in trouble, the Federer would have two surveys, isn't that saved? Yeah. So it's a little bit the same, way. just an extra gear. from Tian. Oh. Yeah. Six. Into the lead. Five.
Service over. Six. All. Almost got that. <laughs> so, uh, now the singles players, um, they keep surprising me with their ability to move and their quickness. And like it's there's no such thing as a lost cause, is no, there? No, they're just so fast and quick. And the days where you had a one player who would be slow and maybe just go for stamina, like, gone. It's, you just gotta be able to do any, everything on court now. Well, he went three games when uh, they met in June, just uh, a couple of months ago, of course, at the Australian Open. And I wonder if we're gonna have a, a three gamer here. Well, momentum is a little bit on either side, but not enough to say that he's got this one in the back, but he does play, you know, he's, he's really settled into a, a good tactic of in here. You see, as I said, he, he was waiting nice and easily to be in defense, but you can see this is what can happen, so, you know. But you, could, you just need to find that little bit of neutral shots to the front court. And then when Ueda steps too close, oh sorry, Tien steps too close to the front court, see if he can fight in the back court. Uh, if he just lifts all the time, then Tian is too, he's too good in his offense. He's throwing some bombs on that, I can tell you. He's really hitting it hard. And you'd know, wouldn't you, Jim? Yeah. You could hit him hard as well. What was your but I, w I was what? never in that position, you know, balance and... <laughs> what was your fastest day? Uh, I Seven. think it was 387 or something in Switzerland or something. But there was a lot of talk about how do you actually, you know, record that speed, so... But I like to think it's right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure you would. <laughs> it was fast, but I would definitely fast. say that. I had the full body behind it, so... When you catch one like that, do you know that's huh? that, do you know that's a biggie? Oh. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You can feel that. As a player, I was kind of the type that I, I couldn't stop smashing, so I would like to go. And even if things were not going my way, it's more or less like the, the Hulk. So you didn't go green though. Seven. Some might say that, but. <laughs> Some by umpires might say that, <laughs> but uh, but in doubles it's it's changed quite a lot. When I played, you know, we see doubles today; they're much more effective on the service situation, and 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 so good at not just giving the the net away. So we had, you know, we had to to play a different game where we could be in offense way more, and we had to hit hard all the time. And, it's a little, it's way different today. The rally is not that long, but we do like uh, spectators to see that. We would like to see that. Yeah, and I'm not saying they can't. They're also better at hitting in angles today and getting the front court play into to the game. So there's many things they're better at. But it's it's a specialist service situation. There's just long from Tian. So uh, Ueda does have a a decent lead, doesn't he? At the interval, yeah. could be on for a, a third and decider. And let's see, can. Come out firing again, Tian. 11-7 the lead for Ueda here at the interval.
Eleven seven. Play. <laughs> Fantastic. Got a little bit of luck with the, the net cord, but he deserved it, really. It's beautiful. Unbelievable. So good at balance and such a great technique. what it can happen when a little bit you know a little bit of tactical difference in the in the way that the Raider is playing now he's much more willing to give the initiative away and wait for Tian to come and smash hard at him and then use that against him so this is worrying times for China because he looks so good didn't he yeah, he looked, he looked really good, and he, he's, he's given it all, but Guido's still... I mean, it was this kind of scoreline, wasn't it, in the opening game? Yeah. Tian's way. But it's kind of like that Guido has seen his shots now and knows exactly where it's coming all the time, so that's a, that was going wide. Big miss hit. Yeah, now, this is a real crisis now for... Definitely, it also yeah, because he's wait. running a lot. Tian is running a lot. It's, it, it's Ueda who's controlling the match. I mean, he's just won seven points in a row as Ueda. He needs to finish this game the way Ueda finished the opening game. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> what a spin shot. And he even sees Tian is all the way up there. Just a little bit more and Tian would put that one on the floor. Fantastic. Great skills by Rita. second game and then there's losing the second game yeah. like this and uh, I don't know is Tian Howey conserving his energy here until uh, until the third game I, I, I don't know I can't really see him changing that much much so I would if I was in his shoes play maybe, maybe one more point and then pack it in and then already try and Get ready for that third game. But well, he's just got a point on the board. Eight, got a free one now. After yeah. nine in a row from the Japanese player. He was uh, trying to go for the big one to make it ten in a row.
retiring. <laughs> How do they keep getting those back? Well, there's no question that he's letting up, is it? <laughs> Tian Haoway. Excellent. But he's Excellent also shot. extremely tired. I know. Ueda really is playing he, some lovely tight net Ueda, shots, isn't Ueda it? is really on it, you know. That's long. Whew. They have chosen to path of being very, very tired. And I'll tell you what, it makes the third game going to be an interesting watch, isn't it, given how they run themselves to the ground at times here. You can see that. Seventeen nine, terrific turnaround from this man, Takuma Ueda, and the uh, number eleven seed here is in uh, a bit of a bit of trouble, really. The number thirteen seed went out yesterday, of course, Momota. No problems for any of the other seeds so far in the men's singles draw, apart from those that obviously couldn't make it here. But if this keeps on now that both players here are empty for energy and that means that the attacking part of the game won't be that effective, then we could be in for a very, very long match here. Yeah. Unless decisions like this are coming. Yeah, but they're really, you know, we're in the second game here, and sometimes, you know, you can, two games can take, what, 35 minutes? I mean, it's, you know, score lines 21, 16, 18, 9. So yeah, it's pretty, they're not what you call it's that not close. close. No. It'll be 45 minutes, minutes on yeah. court already. So we could have a winner of time today. They have to play more than 77. 77, yeah, yeah. was the uh, Levedez. But it looks like home Tian has, has pretty much nine. started to focus on the third game, but I'm pretty sure we'll see a different Tian coming out. Service over, 10. Double digits. 19. It's also important. <laughs> it does look better. Yeah. It's so funny in badminton, you know, if you get 9 and 10, it doesn't really matter, but it actually does matter. It looks way better. <laughs> Well, game points for Takuma Ueda. And uh, 10 points to make it one game all. go. Good attacking, aggressive shot from Ueda. Levels things up here in the Better Up Super Arena. We're into a third game.
So confirmation of the scoreline, 21-12. Emphatic, really, have to say, from Ueda in game number two. You know I like putting you on the spot, Jim. You know what's coming, don't you? Hit me. Go on. <laughs> you're going for the number 11 seat, or you're going for an upset here? I mean, you have to say it would be an upset if we were to beat off here, and wait. Final game. I, I must say I'm very, very surprised by the second game here of Ueda, so I'm actually going to go with him. Okay. I think he looks, he looks like he has momentum. Play. And I think he is... But can't, you remember what, the only thing I'd say? You remember we were talking earlier, and we said Tian looks like he's got another gear in him. Yeah, but he, he came up with another gear, but it was kind of like and then went into reverse. Yeah, <laughs> and now the wrong gear. <laughs> another gear. Yeah. Silver one love. I just wonder whether I, I mean, listen, I'm saying I've not really seen enough of Tian Howe. But I'm, I'm just saying that it looked like that he 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 kind of knew what was coming now. Uh, and, and especially on the side where he's gonna, you have to, that, that change in sides, you have to remember. Yeah. It could be a little bit of difference, I don't know. I don't think so, I haven't heard it, but it looks like that. And he looked a little bit tired as well, I think, Jen. I don't know, I just wonder whether the gap got Biggie switched off a little bit. I mean, for nine points in a row, it just seemed but he's, he's really, the... really willing to play, Ueda. Just when I said that, the curse comes back. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, I asked you the question, you gave me the answer. Yeah. I'm just saying that I just, I just, I understand exactly why you, you, you were favoring the Japanese player, but I just wonder whether there was that extra gear again that we could see from Tian, and I just wonder how much he was going for it once that gap got, he felt too large in that second game. They'll come down eventually. But this is no matter who wins here and who but they're playing amazing. Look at that. Just amazing. Over, one, well let's two. one thing we can say, it looks like it's a pretty tight game here, so but it's still I just have a feeling that Ueda is yeah, he's looking man. good. He is. I've took I took it. I'm saying Ueda. Okay. Takuma, I'm gonna go back on that one. Takuma's gym's Pick. It's uh, not much in it. One game all 2 1. Tian leads. Service over two, three. Oh. 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 Oh.
disappointed with that miss, Tian. Slip from Tian, oh. and he's on the floor again. <laughs> He'll get up eventually. I think he's just taking a breather. And then to get the mop out, of course. That's fantastic. How do you, you know he really slipped there? Look at that. Look how strong he is to get up back and almost gets this one. He actually gets a touch on it. Fantastic. Well, he nearly does the splits, doesn't he? Yeah, it does. Oof. Makes my eyes water. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> just couldn't see that. I'm really glad I wasn't put in that position. What are we doing in the lead here? for both these players, I, I, I would assume then, you know, neither really thinking of the big picture here, just trying to concentrate on each point. Yeah, nothing else they can do. They can't really... Point, to point for point game right now, but the way that's really... He's... He's really playing well, not afraid to come forward and push it on Jan, who's... Looks like after the good start he had here, he's a little bit back to where he was in the second game. Oh, and once again, so Six, cool. Three. So cool, Rita. See, he looks, he knows that Tian can get that one. He still goes for it. That is just pure skills, fantastic skills. So that, ooh, a four point gap Eight, here four. for Tian. That's not really what he would have liked. And this is a good chance for him to take a point, but it just hits it long. Of course, that's going to give Takuma some confidence. I just can't see the weapons of Tian. Over five, but what eight. a rally again and, and 
both players really, really, really trying to take the net on all courses. It's beautiful net play. And of course, it was Japan who knocked out China at the Thomas Cup. There was a Japanese player about to knock out a Chinese player at the next big major of the year here at the World Championships. Pressure on Tian Haowei. Oh! And he uh, can hear for as loud as he's cheered a point net. Oh, that was important for him, giving Tuana a little bit of his own medicine. Not as tight though as weird as drop shots, but. Just didn't, didn't get into it. Boom. <laughs> Seven, eight. Uh, looks like Giannis has decided now that he's going to take the net away from Moreda, and I think that's the wise choice. Taking the net at all courses. And this is one hour. With Babington now. Yeah, and it's been a, a really good hour of play, hasn't it? Still a tough one to call. Tian really having to fight here, though, to keep up with Ueda. Who, since the middle of the first game, has played absolutely brilliantly. Oh, that was a double hit. I thought that was a double that hit. That was a double hit for sure. Oh, wait. Seven. That is a double hit. Yeah. That is a wrong call. That is a wrong call. I saw it, you saw it, he saw yeah. it. Yeah. That was very, very obvious. Look at that. Look at that. Huh? Hold on. Let's have a look again. Play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah hit yeah, it yeah. twice. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. Ah. <laughs> you could see it on the big screen later. And then these. Well, the, the, you know. Well, we, we got replay, remember that. But yeah, but we didn't, we saw it straight away. Yeah, that's We didn't true. need the replay. No. I mean, uh, and the umpire is sat in a brilliant position. Yeah. Should. Listen, I know they can't do everything perfectly, yeah, of course. No. But sh he should Trust see me. that. <laughs> no, he should see that one. That You could see it on the way the shuttle goes. And I the mean, way how far are we here? Yeah, we are like... We're in row Z, aren't we? 100 meters, ah, 50 meters from here. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, what a, and, what, and what an important point. Uh, yeah, it's a momentum changer. I mean, Wade has got to get over the psychological effect as well. Yeah. Of, I've won a point, but I've lost a point. It's yeah. a two-point difference to what it should be. You can see, his co you probably couldn't see because we're on a replay there, but... His coach was clapping there yeah. in the corner. You know, he, come knows, on. he knows his wide and low. He knows he needs to get him back and refocus now. Of course, yeah, good call, bad call. As you said, we're all humans. We make mistakes. Um, but it, it's not, you know, a player can't just go in and lose the next three points because of that. So. Ten, eight. That was very obvious. Well, he hasn't won a point. No, eight since four. it. Eight four. He was up. Now he's behind. Yeah, it was eight seven. Should yeah. have been nine seven. Yeah. Oh, this is worrying times for Japan. And I'm losing my pick <laughs> because of it. He could use his now. He's got the interval. Yeah, he's got yeah. the chance to regroup. The Only coach, three points. The coach to talk to him to. Yeah. To calm him down, refocus him in as well. Walker one for the umpire as well, because he knows as well. Yeah. We no, that should have been Colts. But the game is so fast, and these players are so fast that sometimes. Yeah, as I say, it, yeah. these things happen, don't they? <laughs> The way he's thinking, why does it have to happen to me? Court one, 20 seconds. Court one, 20 seconds. 
And for sure he knows it now because he could see it on the big screen up there. So he knows on the replay there. So he probably knows it as well. But, you know, gotta, gotta keep going on. And Oeda, he needs to refocus. He needs to come out with the same focus that he showed in the start of this game and in the second game. And if he does that, there's loads of time to, get, to make a great comeback here and, and maybe snatch a win. But well, significantly, he's not won a point. It was since eight, that incident. Eight, eight four. It was, I think, actually. Yeah, it was eight four, and it's eight, eight points in a row. Yeah. And that was only one point he lost there. So there's a lot of other things that's not good enough yeah. in the UAE this game right now. But it was eight seven then. It was eight seven. Yeah. But he was still up. Remember, he's up eight four. But it seems to come back a little bit now in this rally. He needs this point. He definitely needs this point. There you go, he's got it. <laughs> How many times has he done this in this match? It's amazing. Challenge, but ah. like you, he uh, I think he's uh, chancing his luck. Yeah, a little bit of desperate, I think. That's way out. That I didn't really get that one. Really not. Is that a little bit of frustration, maybe? I'm not sure. I can't believe he, he thought it was him. No, it's successful. like... One challenge remaining. Yeah. Maybe he just... Yeah. No real explanation for that a one, A couple I of think. points for Ada, yeah. maybe just to stop the momentum that he... Or the 12. mini momentum he's built up there. By Chien. Very clever movement following up. There looks stays on front of the court looking for the shot. Backhand. Just kills it. Fantastic. some exceptional good weapons right now. Look at Tian Howei. That's the best badminton I've seen today. I say I really think they're playing well. Both players are top of the game. Great net shots, tight net spins, good smashes, good angles, drop shots, got everything. Diving on the floor. And we even had a bit of controversy thrown controversy. in for good, good measure as well. But uh, how's it going to end? It's a four-point gap that Tian Haowei has now. Oh. Cut to three. Oh. Over, 
and we're close to an hour and ten minutes, and and these two players really don't look tired. I think that's amazing. This yeah. the pace of the game is still up there where they started. <laughs> well, we need to change our position soon. You can be the color, and I can be the because. <laughs> It's a, you saw that. It's a guessing ex, game. Extra gear. He's I, into I, fifth. He's into fifth now, though. I, didn't, I didn't see the call though. I could. You saw. Yeah. Did you, did you put I the, had put a feeling something like that might happen. <laughs> yeah. Well, it looks uh, as if it's going the way of Tian Haowei because the way that in a way it's six down now. Yeah, Weida. I think it, if I have to look back at it, I think he's. He gave this one away. I know. I know that call wasn't the best in the world, but he was up 8-4. Everything was looking good. There was three points up till that call happened, and after that call, he gave away four, three, four points, and there was no need for that. It was, it was looking really good. And now it's just a mess. So, I mean, he 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 just has to be mentally better. He has an excuse, doesn't he? In, in no, nah, not really. Yeah, maybe in his head, but that's yeah. not good enough. Trust me, I've tried it so many times. <laughs> you can't <laughs> use it. You know, everybody would tell you, ah, uh, it's only one point. And now I'm saying the same thing. And it is only one point. But credit to Tian. He stepped up his game with a chance with that. He took it. He's won 15 of the last. 18 points, yeah. Tian Howey. <laughs> what a lift. And what a winner wow, wow, wow. to bring up match points for Tian Howey. Absolutely amazing. It was looking decidedly dodgy, wasn't it, for the number 11 seed in this match. It looked as if he might be staring defeat in the face against Ueda. But he's rallied big time, hasn't oh, he? He just stepped up. He just stepped up. But Ueda also didn't stay in there when he had the chance. Saved. Still another eight to go. Maybe he wants to win in good style and also have the longest match of the day. Yeah, he's still got a few more minutes to kill before that can happen. <laughs> 72 minutes on the clock. points in a row at one point 13, in this match. 20. Never seen ever. So, 2013, oh. Tian Haowei on the edge of a place in round two. It's been a hard work for him, hard fought victory, surely that's coming his way. Oh. But, uh, 20 14, points to 11 has turned to 2014. And well, there have been some big runner points in this match. Of course, Tian in this game itself has 
won eight in a row in the previous game. It was nine in a row for Ueda. It's netted a huge roar from the number 11 seed because he knows there was a moment when it looked as if it was all going wrong for him. But in the end, he's come through to take on Eric Punk in round number two. You've got to feel a little bit for Ueda there. He uh, turned it around after a tough start and then looked to be on top heading into the uh, final stages. But in the end, it was uh, Tian Hao Wei who came out on top. A, a critical call, you have to say, at 8-7, a double hit from the Chinese player. But there was a lot more to it than that. Yeah, but what a match. Quality all the way. So uh, another thrilling three-setter for you here this evening. 21-14 in that final set to Tian Howei. He's through, but only just. Terrific match that was, and uh, well, one for the locals to enjoy here come up as well as we see the number 11.